first create a duplicate layer and then open up the liquify filter. Select the pucker tool and then use this to make the frames of the glasses as thin as possible. Use a large brush size to start off with. I'm using 45. Once you've done that, choose an even smaller brush size to make the glass frames even thinner. Now the pucker tool tends to distort edges, which we don't want, so when I'm working around the nose, I'm going to use the turbulence tool to push the skin over towards the nose. Now I'm going to use the pucker tool to thin out some of the other areas that I didn't get to yet. Again, you want to start with a larger brush size and then use progressively smaller brush sizes to make the glass frames even thinner. Now, choose the healing brush tool and hold down the Alt key to select a source that's just slightly below the area that we're working on. With a smaller size brush, paint along the line to get rid of what is left of the eyeglasses. Now, that looks a lot better, but it still doesn't look quite natural. So, use a larger size brush to give the skin a more consistent appearance. When you go back to work around the nose or other edges or details, make sure you reduce the size of the brush. Right here along the nose, it's going to be a little bit tricky. We can't use the healing brush tool because it's just going to blend everything together, getting rid of the edge and the, the shadow on the nose. So what I'm going to do is simply use the eraser tool to get rid of what remains of the eyeglass frame. Then create another layer underneath that layer and paint in a skin color. Now go back up to the top layer, make sure you have the eraser selected, and use a brush with a low opacity and low hardness to sort of blend that layer a little bit better. When you're done, merge down to combine it with the other layer. Now I can use the healing brush tool with a smaller brush size to blend this in a little bit better. Now the skin on her cheek is still a little bit weird looking. We're going to borrow a piece of her forehead using the lasso tool, copy it and paste, and position that into a sensible spot. Use the brightness contrast tool to darken it a little bit to match the surrounding skin. Now add a layer mask, and use a black paint brush to blend the edges. You want to make sure your paintbrush has a very low hardness level and is a pretty big size. Once that's blended in well, increase the hardness of the brush so that we can erase the areas around the edges. Now reduce the opacity of that layer very slightly and then merge down. Now her skin on her cheek still has a little bit of an unnatural appearance, so create a new layer and paint on some skin color. Blur it with the Gaussian blur filter. Lower the opacity to around 67%. And now use the eraser tool to clean up the edges. The only problem is that now her skin is a little too smooth looking. It's lost its texture. Normally I would use a special brush to restore the skin texture, but for the sake of brevity, we're just going to add a little bit of noise to create a sort of faux skin texture. Set the percentage very low. Around 3% should do. Now to fix the ridge of her nose, we're just going to borrow a piece of her nose from further down, use the lasso tool, and then copy and paste. Then move it up and position it using the rotate tool. Now add a layer mask and then use a black paintbrush with a low hardness level to fade the edges. Now we'll do something similar to fix the skin between her right eye and her nose. That looks a lot better, but we've lost some of the shadow next to her nose. To fix this, use a small paintbrush with a very dark skin color to paint on some shadow. Now blur it with a Gaussian blur filter. And use the eraser tool to fade the edges. Set the opacity to around 70% and then merge down. Now we need to fix the corner of her eye. We'll use her other eye as a donor. 
Use the lasso tool to select, then copy, paste, flip horizontal, and rotate. Add a layer mask and then paint black to fade the edges. You should use a low hardness level and also lower the opacity slightly. It's looking better, but our eye still looks weird. Let's borrow some eyelashes from the other eye. Same thing here, flip horizontal and then rotate. You can use another layer mask, but I'm just going to use the eraser tool here. Merge down when you're done. So her eyelashes look a lot better, but the skin above her eye still looks really weird. Let's use the bottom part of her eye as a donor. Copy, paste, and then rotate 180 degrees. Position it using the rotate tool, and then use the brightness contrast tool to make it a little bit darker. Now add another layer mask and then paint black to fade the edges. When you're done with that, merge down, and now let's borrow some more from the other side of her face. Flip and rotate to put it into position. Darken it as appropriate. And use a layer mask to fade the edges. Now let's get rid of this hair in front of her eye. This will be real easy. We'll just use the clone stamp tool. Alt-click to select the source and just paint over that to get rid of the hair. Now her right eye still looks kind of weird. Let's use her left eye as a donor. Select with lasso, then copy, paste. Darken it just a little bit. And add a layer mask so that we can fade the edges. The corner of her eye still looks a little bit weird too, so again, use the left eye as a donor, copy, paste, flip horizontal, and then rotate. Layer mask to fade the edges. And we'll do basically the same thing with this other part of her eye here. Now, let's get rid of this remaining part of her eyeglasses. Just use the healing brush tool and paint over that. Go back and do the same thing over her other eye. Alright, looking a lot better, but she's looking a little bit like a victim of a tragic accident, so let's make some other corrections using various parts of the photo as donors. All right, for this area above the eye that's still kind of funny looking, let's just use the paintbrush and various different skin tones to try to reconstruct this area. Again, use the Gaussian blur filter to smooth that out.
Continuing the theme of using donors, let's do that to fix this area here by her hair. Copy the donor area, position it in place, and then use a layer mask and paint on black to fade the edges. Alright, her eye is looking a little bit better, but a little bit too blurred in appearance. So, let's use the pencil tool to paint back on some eyelashes. Blur this very slightly and then change the blending mode to darken. Reduce the opacity very slightly. And when you're done with that, merge down. Now let's do the same thing with the other eye. Alright, let's paint on some more shadow using a very dark skin color to make this contour around the nose look a little bit more natural. Blur using Gaussian Blur. And use the eraser tool with a very soft brush to fade the edges. Now create a duplicate layer Blur it slightly using the surface blur filter and then again using the Gaussian blur filter. Let's add some texture back in using the noise filter, but set this to a very low value. Add a layer mask, but this time choose hide all because we're going to be using a white brush to paint back on the layer instead of a black brush to make the layer disappear. Now use a white brush with very low hardness to paint back on the layer on certain spots. Just whichever areas need a little bit more smoothing out. Once you're done with that, set the layer opacity down to around 50 or 60 percent to avoid making it look too plastic-like, and then merge down. And there you are. Her glasses are gone.